I mean, I used to have a rock and roll friends that I didn't pray for. One of, one of them was the bass player of our rock band. I mean, the guy was so intense and such an out there. I actually didn't pray for him. I, I prayed for all these other people in Bulgaria. <laughs> but for him, in my mind, it's like, don't waste your prayer, because like that guy is completely out. But you know what? He got saved first. <laughs> He got saved first. I can't even take credit for that one first rock, rock guy, rock and roll guy. That, yeah. He was beyond, you know, hope. Oh. He's the baddest of the bad. <laughs> and yet he got first of all the people I prayed for. The unthinkable. God just saved. Yeah. And he became a powerful uh, leader in the underground church. Never even prayed for him because I thought he will never get saved. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, knowing what I know now, everyone can be saved. Everyone can be saved. Jesus pays such outstanding price. Even the hardest heart, the stoniest, the harder they are, the more they're going to just break and open for God. And it's going to God use them even bigger way. Woo! It says, uh, it says that like average Two months, maybe one month, maybe three months, some, but in about two months, even the hardest, coldest non-believer can become born again if you go after him. Yes, this is the evangelistic statistics of all these years, of hundreds of years of evangelists in America. They, they, if, if you spend time with someone and show them how valuable they are, not preaching and pounding, but just loving on them, sharing the love of Jesus, the goodness, the hope. You know, even the most hopeless person, the most rejected and, and you know, just will we'll get saved. Wow. Because there's no resistance to the love when, the, when you begin to pour the love. Yeah. It's very difficult to resist. <laughs> <laughs> because humans are made to love God with his, their whole heart. And so all this garbage got put on from the, from the birth, from the, the old nature, just infused from parents, from society. And, and, uh, and here you come. You know, you carry the torch of freedom. You carry the taste of freedom. You t carry the taste of hope. Love. I mean, who can resist love? You know what I mean? It's hard to resist love. <laughs> wow, we graduated, and some of our grads are amazing testimonies of the transforming power of Jesus in a school. Listen to what Cassandra is saying. It has definitely been a journey this year, and one I've been so thankful for and glad that the Lord ordered my steps and led me to GCSSM. Some of the things that I had been dealing with prior to joining GCSSM was like a low sense of self-worth, isolation and withdrawn. You guys have really pulled out the best in me with truth. And so I'm very, very grateful for that, grateful for the journey. I'm coming back for year three, and I just really thank you guys for really embracing me and allowing me to be authentic in myself and finding myself. From low self-esteem, withdrawal, and isolation to seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. That's what the school is so good at. Can't wait to see you.